How's it going everyone? My name is Brandon. I'm a singer, songwriter, and video editor, and today I'm checking out GFriend for the first time. So, um, actually, <laughs> I have an ulterior motive for doing this. Um, over on my Patreon, I'm watching uh, Mamamoo uh, variety shows, reality shows, all that stuff, and they actually uh, have an appearance with GFriend on this show called Chill Time, where it, there's like six episodes, and it's a lot of Mamamoo, and it's a lot of GFriend. So before I wanted, before I got into that, I wanted to see what GFriend was about, and I've had requests to get into GFriend anyway. So, we're getting into GFriend today. Usually, I start from the beginning and work my way back up to the recent stuff, but I've been told that uh, they're trying out a new sound um, and their more recent comebacks. So I'm gonna check out Mago, Ma Mago, Mago, uh, their most recent song, <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back to the first one uh, so I can see what what the difference is, and what's going on, and um, get the full G Friend experience. Okay, so we're starting with Mago first. Let's get into it. Gotta turn my light up. Ooh, okay. She's very pretty. Ooh, okay, and that fit. Oh my goodness. Also very pretty, all right. Got a retro feel. That's so magic. in a room. Okay. <laughs> They're all very, very pretty. Ooh. Yeah, we got a disco feel on this one. Hakuna Matata? Is, is that what I just saw? Wait a minute. <laughs> Hakuna Matata? Okay. What about the Lion King? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Maybe some pretty strong vocals from all of them so far. Okay, we got a massive fit change. Very pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was worried about this one. She has a very interesting voice. The one with on the pole. Okay. Cute. Kuna Matata. I'm so okay. The pole work? Very impressive. She's rocking it. This one's catchy. Dance and dance. Okay, that was cute. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness. This look right here. The kick. Her smiling at me in the mirror. Okay. Came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Wow, visuals in this group, my goodness. Okay, I, I, I like this one, this one's catchy. And uh, I think, oh wait, got a little bit more? That's a dope shot, very cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I like that one, that, one's, that one was catchy. So um, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> And this is very strange. I didn't hear one single rap verse in that whole song. Maybe besides like uh, the ballad style songs that I've gotten from K-pop, 
every single K-pop song has had a rap verse in it. So that's very interesting. They're all very beautiful women. I think the one voice that stood out to me so far was the one that was on the poll. And it's not because she was on the poll, but she has a very unique tone. But, um, okay, so that was Mago. So uh, I'm very interested to see what their other concept was, because I hear they had they had a concept switch. So we're gonna go into Glass Bead, which I believe is their first, uh, their debut. So, bop, let's go. <clears throat> okay, it's like, they're much younger here. <laughs> you go for like a schoolgirl concept? So many close-ups. So much eye contact already. Ooh. Got some piano action. I'm a piano player, if you guys don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's a, definitely a vibe switch. Yeah, this is a cute, innocent concept. Okay. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> I think she's the one, right? The one I was just singing was the same one that was on the pole in, the, in MAGA, right? Very unique voice. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. It's catchy. It's definitely catchy. I like this part right here. Definitely makes you move. Yeah, it's like teenage love is the concept here. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I definitely feel like they've gotten much better as vocalists through the years. Not that they're bad here. I like the sound though. Cute public concepts aren't my favorite, but I don't hate them, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Very, very nice. Woo! Okay? Yeah. Her voice is amazing. And I'm pretty sure that's the same one that I keep trying to point out. Moves. They're all good dancers too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I had a feeling that that breakthrough note was coming because I heard it building in the ad libs in the back, and I was just waiting for it, and I knew it was coming. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, definite definite vibe switch from Mago to this one, and um, I was warned ahead of time that they went from like a cute concept to a more mature concept in their more recent stuff. Um, definitely like that vibe better than the cute, um, innocent concept, but, um, it's, it's definitely on their age. They probably feel more comfortable doing a mature concept, so, uh, it totally makes sense, and I totally get it, and, um, I like their music, actually. Uh, 
as a group, they're strong vocalists, but they're, that one in particular definitely st stands out to me. If you guys are interested, if you're also into Mamamoo, um, I am gonna be watching uh, the Showtime show that features both G Friend and Mamamoo on my Patreon. So uh, if you guys are interested, I'll leave that link uh, in, the, in the description in the comments. But I'm definitely <laughs> gonna add G Friend to my lineup somehow. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already uh, chock full of groups. Uh, I'm, if you guys don't know, I'm into Mamamoo, Red Velvet, Dreamcatcher, uh, just got into BTS, and Idol. Um, those are the main groups right now, and this is gonna be more G Friend to come for sure. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.